this is Mr. C and I'm just going to show you today how to make a basic slab plate. And the first thing you do is you only need a uh, clay about this big, it can fit in the palm of your hand. And the first thing you want to do is kind of roll it into a ball, patting it like this just to get some of the air bubbles out. And because we're making a slab, what I'm just going to do is first just put it on the table and just flatten it out a bit with uh, the ball of my hand here. And I don't want to press too hard or it's, it's going to stick, stick to the table. So make sure you just pat it gently first and then roll it over. And that's okay for now. And what I want to do is I want to use these two sticks and you see they're the same thickness. And we also have some thinner ones. And depending on how thick you want your plate will depend on how thick uh, your stick is. So if you want a thicker slab plate where you're going to be carving things out of the base, you might want to go for the thicker one. The only thing you need to make sure is that you use the same sticks for each. So I'm going to go for a thicker one. And what I'm going to do first is just put some newspaper down here. I'm going to put these on both sides. Move this over. I'm going to put these on both sides. I'm going to get the roller. I'm going to gently start rolling it out. And as you can see, I've already flattened it. So it's uh, actually lower than the sticks already. So I either have to redo this or I'm going to go up, go for the thinner one. So I'll just go for the thinner one. And I'm not going to press super hard. Otherwise, it'll stick to the newspaper. And I'm going to roll it, flip it over the opposite way. I'm going to roll it again. Now if you're going to be making a circular one, you can use any kind of a template here. I'm just using the lid of a coffee cup. But as you can see, this is too big, so I need to find something smaller. So I'm just going to use one of these, and you have to be careful that you don't press too hard, or the clay is going to go in here and it's going to be hard to take out. So I'm just going to lightly sit it on top, and I'm just going to use this knife just to simply cut around it. Here again, you have to be careful that you don't push this down too hard. And to get the excess clay off, I'm just going to make a slit, make a slit, make a slit so I can just peel it away like that. So you can see it's stuck onto there, so I gently peel that off. And at this stage, I might want to smoothen out the edges here. Ideally, you would have a piece of chamois leather that you can smoothen out, but for our purposes right now, I'm just going to do it like this and I'll be able to smoothen, smoothen it out more later. And if I do need to further smoothen out, I could just use one of these spatulas and just go like this. If you have a bit of dried clay that's on it, you'll see it'll leave some scratches like mine have. So before you use it, you should check to make sure that there's no dried excess clay on that. Now, I'm going to do the other side too. I'm going to write my name on the bottom here. And just be careful, I'm not going to go too deep. Flip it over to the front. Now I've made a circular one, but if you wanted to make yours rectangular or square, you could even simply just get a piece of paper or card to lay on the clay and just cut out around that as a, a template. Now what I plan on doing with mine is just making a bit of additive clay on the top of it. And I can just use this excess clay and I'll, I'm just going to simply make a little turtle to lay on top. So again, I'm going to flatten this out a bit. I want to make it a bit even. And this might take a little bit more skill to do. Uh, again, you could have a paper template trace out, I'm just going to quickly do mine freehand and it's going to be basic. Now I'm going to just draw the shape of it with the pencil here. And what I'm going to do now is press further to cut it. So just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to pretend that is done perfectly there. And I'm just going to place this, say, in the middle. And one thing you need to be aware of is if you're doing any additive clay, 
you need to score. So I'm just going to make some slits. I can actually just use the pencil. And you're just going to make some slits in the clay. And place this down in the position I want it in. Try to make it centered. And you have to apply some slip, which is basically just kind of muddy clay. And you can just use your finger for that. Try to slide that in a bit, gently pushing it down. And you might find that you'll need to further smoothen it out a bit. So I'm just going to use one of these. And I'm just going to try and fix up some of the edge work to make it a bit more crisp. If I see any of that slip, I'm going to try and blend that in. And I'm also going to add some texture to this. And what I'd like to do is put a kind of like a circular border on it. So I have one of these hand wheels. And I'm just going to put this on. But what I want to do, you see the hand wheel has these circles on it. And I want to try to center this evenly. And we should put some stoppers around the clay, but I'm not going to do it very fast. So I'm just going to give it a light spin. See if it's centered. It's a bit wobbly. I'm just going to reposition that. And I'm going to put my elbows on the table, hold my wrist with my hand, and just lightly touch the clay with this pencil just to make a, a line. And I'll just show you. So if the clay, if the wheel is spinning this way, I'm kind of holding the pencil in that tight angle, not this way, or it's just going to stab in, into the clay. And you can see I've made a border there. So I'm going to take this off. So I've made a border, I've smoothened, I've had some additive clay, and I want to decorate it with some textures. And I'm just going to make a wavy pattern here. And I should make sure that the clay is off the pencil, and I'm just going to lightly do it like this. And I'm also going to use the fork and put in some texture. And I'm also going to do some subtractive clay. So you see we have tools like this. And they're a bit rusty, but you can kind of carve the clay out. And I'm just going to carve along this border. And I'm going to do it very slowly and very carefully and very steadily. And actually, maybe just so you can see it better, I'll just raise it on this. So I'm just going to hold the tool like this, and I'm just going to slowly carve around that line I've made. You got to be careful that you don't go too deep. Take off some of the excess clay. It's very soft clay, so you don't really have to push in. Now, just to get rid of that little ridge, I'm just going to go in the opposite way and just try to straighten it out a little bit carefully. It looks like I'm going fast, but I'm keeping it fairly steady. Some of these little ball edges that are sticking up, when it gets fired, uh, those we can sand off a bit. But I'm still not very happy with the edge work here. So I should go back and try and tidy, tidy that up a bit. So if you look in this area here, it's much better than the area over there. So it's not a brilliant design, but for the sake of the tutorial it'll do. What I would also do is perhaps tidy up this edge work in here, smoothen that out, and I would go all the way around doing that as well, both sides. It might look more attractive. Now with my plate, I would also, I also wish to roll up the edges a bit, like a real plate, and I'm just gonna simply turn it up like this. But because of gravity, it needs some support. So what we should do, I'm just gonna move this off to the side. 
You're going to need to keep a piece of newspaper underneath it, just so that the support pieces, when it's dry, don't stick to the actual plate. And I'm going to make that just a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I can take this excess clay I had and just simply roll it out into a snake. And I turn this up and I just simply place this around it like that. And it might not even need to be that long. You could also break it into chunks. And of course this stage is optional depending on your plan and your design that you created. And it'll be like that. So one thing that we're going to have to do and what you're going to have to consider is that when you're finished you'll need to place it on these wooden boards. Now the situation I have here is I have to lift it up and I have these here again so I'm probably going to have to do it again when I place it on this board. Now this board we should be able to fit about four to six plates so if you can move it as close to the edge as possible so another student's work can fit there. And I'm just going to put this back. So the next step is to let this dry out, we'll fire it, and the next step would be glazing. Then we're just going to put that off to the side. You should tidy up your area, make sure you collect all your excess clay. You can simply put it into a ball and we'll collect that to recycle it. Uh, any of your tools that have clay in them like this tool here, we should pick that out or just simply give it a rinse and that should fall off. Tidy up your area and that's about it. One thing is if you forget to write your name on the bottom, simply write it on a small scrap piece of paper and just leave it on top like that.